Do you mind telling me what's going on at 620 on the... I would love to be able to tell you what's going on at 620, but I am a member of the Democratic Party, the legislature, and so I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, this is a Republican budget uh, that the governor is going to be signing, but the Democrats at the legislature have no information and are not party to it. All right, is the uh, DFL House ready to support the, the budget? The, the, DFL the, House, the DFL House will be voting no, for the most part. Maybe some yes votes here or there, but the vast majority of our members are going to be voting no, because this is a very irresponsible budget. Okay. And then what's going to happen? Well, the, in all likelihood, Republicans will pass it with the bare minimum number of votes they need to pass it, and it will be presented to the governor very quickly. He'll sign it, and uh, the only good thing about it is that state government will reopen, people will go back to work. The real harm that this budget will do will take place over the long term as Minnesota descends further into financial chaos at the state level. Which party is going to suffer most from action? Minnesotans are going to suffer the most. You know. Putting a political uh, calculation on it, you know, maybe Republicans are worse off because they're the ones borrowing $1.4 billion and uh, putting the state into a, a fiscal train wreck situation. But uh, who knows who suffers uh, politically? I think the biggest concern is that there are a lot of important progressive goals that Minnesota needs to accomplish, and this budget really uh, undermines our ability to do any of those. You have to have some kind of stable state funding, finances, to fund the good things we need to do. And I'm afraid with this budget, we're going to be ending our ability to do that for years to come. What do the people need to do? The, the, <laughs> the people need to get engaged and get informed, uh, to be aware of the consequences of what we're doing, to be aware that we're borrowing money that will make it very difficult for us to ever pay uh, back schools, for example, that we're borrowing from. Ed any money that's coming to education in the next 20 years is going to be going to pay off this budget solution. And, the, and people need to be aware of how bad our state finances are. They need to get informed. They need to demand that Republicans get off their tax obstructionism. And they need to demand that Democrats maintain spending discipline even when we do raise revenue so that we are investing in the right things for the state's future. Thank you very much. Thanks.